at a busy metro station in Istanbul, Turkey. It's winter, and commuters are rushing on their way to work, unaware of what is about to happen. The escalator on the left is functioning normally, but the one on the right is static, so the rush hour commuters are using it like an ordinary staircase. Suddenly, it springs into life. Just as a commuter steps into a huge gaping hole that unexpectedly opens beneath his feet. He can be seen desperately trying to hold on to the handrail, but eventually he plummets into the mechanism and the stairs close over him. But what must it be like to be trapped in the belly of an escalator? As you can see, we've removed a few steps. Steve Normington is the product manager at Kone, a leading manufacturer of lifts and escalators in the UK. There's lots of pieces of um, moving machinery in there. In the unfortunate event that somebody actually passed through a gap in the steps, the escalator has got enough power to lift a small car, so that's not a place you want to be. It's a very hostile environment, and um, there's going to be no winners. Which was the biggest fear for the emergency services in Turkey, trying to rescue the man from inside the broken escalator. Once located, the rescue workers had to resort to ripping open the sides to reach him. It took over an hour to free him, after which he was immediately taken to hospital. Unbelievably, he only suffered minor injuries. To find out what went wrong in Turkey, first we need to see how an escalator works. Mark Fairweather is the director of a vertical transport consultancy in the UK. In this test facility, we've got the escalator running on a very slow speed and we've taken the cover off the top chamber. The top chamber typically houses the motor, which has the braking system. It also houses the controller, which is the brains, the equipment. And you can see here the steps coming around the top and back down again on the step chain, which is moving here. And you can see a series of safety switches, which are all there designed to make sure that if anything goes wrong, they switch off the escalator immediately. So what caused this man to fall through the steps? Jenny Baxter, head of engineering for the Institution of Mechanical Engineers, has studied the footage. What appears to be happening is that an escalator that wasn't originally moving has too many people on it and it has started to move, possibly undergoing some maintenance where steps have been removed and this has led to one poor gentleman actually falling into the escalator and looking like the escalator's actually eaten him. The Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality have since stated that a person failed to notice the warning signs and took the escalator which was under maintenance. The steps of the escalator, which was not in service at that time, collapsed and the person was trapped under the stairs. Bear in mind, escalators generally don't stop immediately. There's always a stopping distance. And the reason there's a stopping distance is to stop passengers being thrown off balance. So it could still take up to a metre to stop, depending on speed or even slightly longer. Eventually, the emergency services free the girl and she is sent to hospital. But what caused this accident to happen? There's either one of two scenarios, as far as I can see. One is there was an actual step plate or a pallet which was missing, and as the moving walkway came round, she happened to step on just as that void was there and she fell in. The other scenario is that the pallet actually gave way somehow and, and broke and fell apart. Most devices, whether they're an escalator, or a moving walkway will have what we call a missing step device. And it detects all the time if there's a step missing or if there's a pallet missing. And if it does, it instantly shuts off the equipment. So I don't know why those devices weren't present or weren't operational. I think this young lady has been very lucky. It's possible that if her leg had been caught for longer and the walkway had continued to move, her injuries could have been much worse. She's lucky that it was switched off and that she got help as quickly as she did. Sadly, for others, the outcome isn't so fortunate. It's Saturday at the Longmont Shopping Mall in Shanghai, China, and a cleaner is doing his rounds. Surveillance camera footage shows he's placed some form of cleaning mat onto the comb plate at the top of the machine whilst it's running. 
as the janitor steps on top of it. It collides with the oncoming steps, creating a gap, which the janitor's leg then falls through. Most of the escalator accidents happen either at the top or the bottom, where the angle of the escalator is changing, where the steps are changing. And what's happened here is he's put a mat on the most vulnerable place. The momentum of the escalator has driven it into the mechanisms, and it's basically dislodged a roller from the track. Then an escalator step's gone up, and you've got what we call an escalator pile-up, and he's happened to fall down into that void. Emergency services managed to free him from the metal jaws, but at a great cost the lower half of his leg. Certainly, you should never be attempting to clean an escalator while it's moving. 